All right, let's get the show on the road. So I'm gonna to have to try and remember what we're actually doing before. Um, I think we we're wake, waiting for him to wake up, weren't we? Um, but I think what we we're trying to do before was trying to figure out what we needed for the other recipes. Yeah, he's still snoozing away. So I've been informed, very rightly, um, that the dough that we put in our ears doesn't actually allow us to communicate with animals. It allows us to kind of just understand them. So apparently there's a bit more dialogue to these chickens out here. So we're just going to go hang out here for a moment, see what they've got to say. Um, while we're waiting for our, our master to awaken from his slumber. And then we're going to have to figure out the ingredients for these other magic spells we can do. There's a few items at the shop that we need to purchase, but I have no idea where we would get gold from. Go on, chickens. Say what you got to say. Or, you know, don't don't say what you got to say. Doesn't bother me. I don't mind. Oh, chickens. When, when is this wizard going to wake up? I feel like we've been waiting forever. Going by my times here, he should almost be awake. What are we, 154? It's kind of the annoying thing about this game is having to wait around for stuff to happen. Um, but once he wakes up, we should be able to get out to town and have a look around. Hopefully get some ingredients that we need. Oh, there we go. 158. So yes, probably about 25 minutes for him to sleep. Gwydion, I have awakened. Good to know. I guess that means he wants his chores done. You aren't to be in this room without my express permission, Mananan says gruffly. Go find something to do. You've been neglecting my chickens again, Gwydion. Feed them and quickly. I literally just fed the chickens, but okay. Oh, you're in luck, chickens. You get fed twice today. You hear one chicken say to the other, I feel so sorry for the boy. The old wizard treats him miserably. Yes, dear, replies the other one. But you ought to worry about your own neck. Look at the situation we're in. That's a good point, chicken. I'd rather be in my position than yours. Alright, what else do you want me to do? Uh, your kitchen is filthy. Go clean it now. Yes, sir. Man, this kitchen is going to be so clean. I've cleaned it like so many times now. Good work, Gwydion. Gwydion, my chamber pot needs servicing. Go empty it immediately. Whatever you say, man. I'm going to turn you into a cat soon. Alright, empty pot. Check it out the window. I think we have to do a couple of trolls for him and then it should kind of say either he's going out or he's going to the town, I guess. Go. Keep going. He's just going to stare at me again. Uh oh, it's him again. Gordian, I have decided to take a journey. Good, get out of here. So, we have the most amount of time available to us now, so... Christ, what am I doing? Um, we'll go see if we can get some items. So, where have we got trees? Oh, we'll try and get the mud first, actually. The mud's up here. Get some mud. I'm getting so frustrated, one of the little birds twitters to the other. No matter how early I get up, I just can't seem to ever catch that darn worm. Poor oh dear, says her friend. I know you can do it. You can't let a dumb worm outsmart you. Ha! Ah, the first bird laments. That's easy for you to say. I bet you've never even tried. Yeah, lazy bird. Okay, can we get this mud? That's the question. Take mud. With the wooden spoon, you kneel and scoop a spoonful of wet mud from the stream's bank. You carry it with you. Perfect. Got some progress. Is that bastard wizard dead yet? No, not yet. We are. So we're trying to find some mistletoe at the moment. At the moment, one of the trees has a light green coloured plant growing upon it. On closer inspection, you see that it's mistletoe. Oh, okay. Well, that was good timing. Take mistletoe. We also need to find some gold from somewhere too. 
Search among the hanging mistletoe until you find a sprig that has dried. You break it off and carry it with you. Good stuff. Let me just have a quick look at these spells again. Uh, so fish oil we need to get from the shop. A cup of ocean water. We could try and get that. Uh, dried mistletoe. We've got that. That's cool. And a smooth rounded stone of unusual color. Where the hell would we get that from? Alright, can we get some ocean water? Holy shit, what the hell? We can swim out to sea? Jesus. Not what I was expecting to happen. Um, get water. Water in this intertidal zone is very brackish. It's not suitable for much of anything. Okay. Go out a bit further then. Jesus. Maybe not that. that. Stop. I can't actually stop swimming here. Oh, there's a fish. You listen with interest as two fish speak to each other. There's that boy from Daventry, one states. I wonder if he would like to return there. I doubt it, responds the second fish. I hear Daventry's going through some hard times, even worse than Ludor. No, he wouldn't want to go there. I didn't even know I was from Daventry, so I go. Um, how am I supposed to get this bloody water if I'm just swimming on stop? All right, can we get some seawater from here, maybe? Fill your cup with ocean water. Sweet. Um, how are we going for time? I can't remember what time it was when he left. I think it was like two hour point, so we've probably got about ten minutes. We still need to find some gold from somewhere. No idea where, and I don't know how we're supposed to get in this bloody spiderweb cave either. Okay, so we've got about, I think we've got about five minutes, so I might head back to make sure we've got enough time to get there. Okay, so what did we get? We got the mud, we got the seawater, we got some more, oh, we got the mistletoe too, and we got some more animal fur, so we've got quite a few items for spells now, although we don't have the one that we actually want, which is the fish oil. And I don't think the ones that we can make at the moment are like any help to us. Like there was one to turn into a fly or an eagle. Don't see how that's going to help. Alright, so what do we got? Many, many things. I don't know how we can fit this all in our pants, but apparently we can. Uh, cat here, dog here. Thimble, fly wings. We got the mistletoe as well. Mistletoe, ocean water. Oh, we need a cactus juice too, but I don't know if we just get that from the cactus or not. Um, okay, so what do we have in these? We had a teleportation one, but we need a stone for that. Smooth round stone of unusual colour. Uh, causing a deep sleep. Three dried acorns, one cup nightshade juice, one magic wand, one empty pouch. Okay, so the pouch is also needed from the shop, so we can't do that one. Uh, brewing a storm. One cup ocean water, one spoonful of mud, pinch of toadstool powder, magic wand, empty jar. We don't have an empty jar either. So there's not actually a lot we can do here. We can do the eagle one, pretty sure. We'll probably do that one when we get a chance. And becoming invisible, one jar of lard, one cactus, one spoonful of cactus juice, two drops of toad spittle, one magic wand. So the lard's from the shop as well. So the gold's kind of like what's holding everything up at the moment. Pretty sure there's no gold in this house because we've kind of like hunted all over the place. I might just have to look up a clue for the gold. I might do that now while we're waiting. Um, man and man keeps catching me. How can I get past the spider? Oh, I need some money. Where can I get it? That's all we want. You need a tremendous, a, what, a tree mend house idea. Tree mend house idea, what the hell? Wait, is it, oh, hold on a minute. I have an idea. Thinking back to the other games, I think number two, and possibly number one, the, um, the bandits, when they would rob you, you'd usually be able to find them. Well, find their, like, hideout area, and it used to be, I think one of them was in, like, a tree? Maybe it's the same in this game. Because I was kind of wondering whether we could actually get our stuff back from the bandits. Okay, so we'll probably have a look. Look at some trees again. 
trees here cast a refreshing shade. I'm guessing it's going to be like a big tree. The only big tree I knew was this one. I think. Um, but I don't know if we can do it. There's like a hole in the bottom of this one. Look up into the towering oak tree. You can only see large spreading branches and thick leaves. Looking down, you see a small hole between the tree's large roots. You lie down on the ground and look into the small hole. It is too dark inside to see anything. We can like put our hand in that hole somehow. How would we do that? Don't die now. You lie down on the ground and reach into the small hole. You feel around inside the hollow tree and discover a rope stretching up into the tree. You pull it and to your amazement, a rope ladder falls from the branches above. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. So let's investigate. Oh, we got a tree house. Oh shit. Wait, am I dead? Oh my god. <laughs> Damn it, I knew it. Well, I didn't really want to save while we're out here, so. Bloody ladders. Okay. Normal speed. Climb. Don't die, please. If you keep climbing, you die. Yep, that's what happened before. Okay. So I guess we need to get to like next to that ledge and then get off somehow. Cool. Oh shit. You have entered the bandit's hideout. One of them is coming after you. Get out of there, man. Jesus. Okay. It's not quite the result I was looking for. Maybe we can like look before we go in. You can see very little of the interior from out here, but there seems to be a figure sleeping in a chair. Okay, so is he asleep this time or what? You have entered the bandit's hideout. One of them is a sleeping at a small table. Oh, okay, so he's asleep this time. Good. Very good. Hideout is made of rough planks, sparsely furnished with a table, a chair, and a small wooden bin in the corner. Is this the bin? A shabby wooden bin is built into a corner of the treehouse. It is covered by a hinged lid. Okay, open bin. Wait, oh, this, is this the bin? This must be the bin. Slowly lift the lid and hope the squeaky hinges do not wake the bandit. Actually, this is probably where they store my stuff when they steal it. Yeah. Um, what's on the table? There is a leather coin purse lying on top of a wobbly table. Oh, okay, sweet. That's probably what we need. You very carefully lift the coin purse off the table, practically out from under the sleeping bandit's nose. Sweet. Time to murder the bandit when he sleeps. I don't think we've got anything to do that with, and I don't think that's probably what we're supposed to do, but... Um, nope, got nothing. Got some porridge. Bandit opens his eyes and sees you in his hideout. He jumps up from the chair. Oh god. Get out of there, man. Shit. Really? What the hell? Okay, let's just get first. Get the hell out of here. Don't, oh my god. I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. Stupid ladder. Now this time, don't die. Okay, good. Got it. I keep pushing the button to like stop him walking, but he was already stopped. Okay, now's a good time to save it, I think. Need a death counter just for the ladder, yeah. Basically. Good lord, that was like the worst thing ever. Alright, we can have a... Actually, let's have a look how much money we've got. Purse and gold coins. Eagerly peek inside the soft leather coin purse and discover it contains some shiny gold coins. You may want to count them. Okay, let's do it. We have eight gold coins. 
How much do these things cost? Hello, sir. What can I do for you? Um, so what was here that we needed? Leather pouch, salt, fish oil, lard. So the first one we need definitely is the fish oil. So we'll get that first. With a smile, the storekeeper says, I guarantee you will be happy with this fish oil, young sir. That will be one gold coin. What else can I get for you? Cool, okay. Um, buy pouch. Butt, butt pouch. We need to buy a butt pouch. No, come back. I've got purchases to make. Sir, please. I'm in a hurry here. I'm on a strict time limit. Smiling, the storekeeper says, you will be very happy with this pouch. That will be one gold coin. Oh, this must be like a bloody dollar store or something. What else can I get for you? Uh, buy lard. Is this going to be a dollar as well? Sure is. Everything costs a dollar here. Uh, and what's the last one? Salt. Oh my god, butt salt. Some butt salt for our butt pouch. Wise purchase, sir. You'll find no bit of salt in the land. That will be one gold coin. Okay, I think that was all of it, wasn't it? Look at shelf. Pouches, salt, fish oil, lard. Okay, cool. We're good. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your business. Okay, so now we can make some potions again. This is the fun bit. By fun, I mean, I mean not fun at all. I'm getting a little worried because we're getting low on food. Um, and I don't know how many more times we can actually feed him. Like, I'm not sure if it just gives me more food. Or... If it's just like game over. Knowing these games, it's probably just game over. Um, first one we want to do is probably the one to that we're going to use on the wizard, I think. To be safe. Do I have enough time? Should have enough time. Should have enough time. It's about 25 minutes. Um, and we pretty much just went straight to the treehouse, then to the shop, and then back here. So we should have maybe like 15 minutes. And this won't take too long. So we've got page 25. Um, one half cup mandrake root powder. Small ball here of cat, two spoonfuls of fish oil, one magic wand. Okay, so we're gonna have to get the mandrake root from the from the shelf first. You remove the jar labeled mandrake root powder from the lab laboratory shelf and carry it with you. Cool. Turn to page twenty-five. Trembling hands, you turn the, old, the pages of the sorcery of old. Prepare to follow its instructions precisely. Okay, you know you must work with the utmost care. Every step is critical. Each must be done in the proper way, in the proper sequence. You tremble in anticipation. So, put mandrake root powder in a bowl. You pour the mandrake root powder into the bowl. Uh, put the cat here in the bowl. Put the ball of cat here in the mixing bowl. Put two spoons of fish oil in bowl. You pour the fish oil into the bowl and keep the empty jar. Oh, okay, so that's probably where we get the empty jar from. Cool. Um, stir the mixture with a spoon. You mix the ingredients together. The mixture turns into an oily, disagreeable dough, with cat hairs sticking out of it. Uh, put the dough on the table. Scrunching your nose in distaste, you grab the oily dough from the clay bowl and put it on the oaken table. Uh, pat the dough into a cookie. Pushing the palm of your hand on the oily dough, 
You flatten it until it is in the shape of a cookie. After a bit, the cookie hardens. Alright, now we have to recite some weird spell thing. Okay. Mandrake root and hair of cat. Mix oil of fish and give a pat. Feline from the one who eats this appetizing magic treat. Please be right. Did it work? Um, oh, wave the magic wand. You wave the magic wand over the cookie and then take it from the table and carry it with you. Sweet! How to get those recipes right without the internet back then? Yeah, yeah, they're all in the manual, which is what they used to use for like uh, copyright protection on these games, as you'd have to kind of consult stuff in the physical manual that you need in the game to progress. Kind of a cool way to do copyright protection. Obviously doesn't work these days though. Successfully completing the spell, you again look at the wizard's laboratory. Okay, cool. So we've done that one. Now I'm wondering if we should do the other one too. Um, we could do Brewing a Storm. I think that's the only other one we can do at the moment. Uh, empty pouch. We could do the deep sleep one too, actually. Deep sleep. And we could do the eagle one. Kill the bastard and do the rest at your leisure. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that. Um, let's do that, actually. Let's just go see if we can do it. Alright. Now we just got to wait for him to wake from his slumber. I guess we could just wake him up. He'll probably turn us into a snail, but that's all good. Did we wake him up? Keep the cookies. Yeah, well, we can come back up and get the cookie. I'm just worried he's gonna like murder us if we're carrying it. We'll have a look, see if it's got an asterisk. I didn't actually check. Oh, see, it's got a star next to it. So I don't think we can have this. The only resemblance to a real cookie is its flat, round shape. It is hard and has cat hair sticking out of it. Definitely non appetizing. How are we going to feed that to him then? He's probably not going to take it. I mean, he's been eating stuff that we've been storing under our bed this entire game, so... He probably won't even give it a second look. Poke him. What's a poke? Um, Wake, wizard. Oh, hold on, let's try this. You speak softly to the sleeping wizard. Humph! He grumbles, he grumbles sleepily, thumbing his nose as if at a fly, but soon the snoring resumes again. God damn it, wizard, wake up. He's not gonna wake up. Bloody a poke is a type of mon. <laughs> nice, I like it. Okay, we'll just open the drawer, that usually works. Aha! Wide awake. You know you're to stay out of my things, he growls. I have no choice but to punish you for this. Is it going to be a snail, or is it going to be the weird push-ups? Perhaps you'd like a closer view of the ground, Gwydion, says Mananin. Oh, it's going to be the snail. Snail time. Alright, where is he now? What do you want his food? Where is he going to do his weird, like, steering me down thing again? Gwydion, oh my god, he's going on his bloody... Okay, so he's not going to let us feed him then. Alright, well we're going to do, the... we'll do the other ones while we're waiting. We are done here. Time to put this stuff back. And then turn this wizard into a cat. Hopefully. As long as I'm not missing anything. And I'm hoping we can do something with this cookie. I don't know if we're supposed to mix it with something else or if we just give it to him as as is, but it looks a bit dodge, so he's probably not gonna like we're not gonna accept it. Alright, here he is. Returned Gwydion, I am ready to eat. Alright, sir. Let me fetch my cookie. One moment please. I think we'll just try and give him the cookie first and see what happens. Dropping to your knees, you reach under the bed and retrieve it. Cool. 
do it. Give him the cookie. 